what we did was to go to Shelby Farms. There's a lake that I've been taking students to since the early 90s for a field trip to get an experience of, of looking at the incidence of parasites in fish, in this case, bluegills and largemouth bass. Every year, this, this event is taking them out, collecting fish, coming back, dissecting them open, counting, tallying them up to see how many fish are infected and then what the average parasite load is for each of the fish. I think what they, they expect to learn is that parasites are out there. We who cook our food are relatively lucky that for us having a parasitic infection is the exception. But out in nature, being parasitized is actually the rule. I have found with one particular parasite that we find in fish that we call P. minimum because the full genus name of this parasite is Pastodiplostoma minimum. So among friends, it's P. minimum. The incidence has never gone below 80%. It's that common among bluegills and, and bass. I planned this lab so that the water is still warm. It has cooled down enough from the summer that most of the really large fish, the kind of fish that we would call panfish for eating, they've already gone into deeper water and we're looking at the young of the year or maybe two year old. But that's sufficient for the teaching moment of finding that most animals are parasitized.